Broca's Area by Christina Porcala and Kayla Shields. The Broca's Area was discovered in 1861 by French surgeon Paul Broca when he found the area served a vital role in articulation and in speech generation. The Broca's Area region of the brain contains neurons that are involved in speech function and it is also located in the third frontal convolution of the left hemisphere. It is also made up of pars opercularis and pars triangularis, which are both areas that contribute to verbal fluency. The Broca's area is involved in the production of spoken and written language, language processing, speech comprehension, and also involved in many motor-related activities such as hand movements, sensory motor learning, and social integration, which is how one's personality conforms with society. The specific role the Broca's area has in language production is unknown, but scientists have confirmed its role in language processing. In the 1960s, scientists Roger Sherry and Michael Gazzaniga conducted an ingenious experiment to determine whether language was lateralized to the left hemisphere. They worked with split brain patients. These patients had the connective tissue between the right and left hemispheres of the brain removed. The patients that held an object in their right hand could dictate objects' names because they were using the left hemisphere of their brain. The patients that held an object in their left hand could not dictate objects' names because they were using the right hemisphere of their brain. Cognitive disorders that are associated with Broca's area are autism. Some individuals with autism have abnormalities in the Broca's area, which causes them to have language impairments. Strokes can also cause cognition deficits in the brain, which result in post-stroke aphasia. Post-stroke aphasia is the difficulty to understand and or speak. All of the cognitive disorders due to the damage to the Broca's area are treated with the help of a speech language pathologist. Testosterone affects language areas of the adult human brain. Studies show that increased fetal testosterone predicts smaller vocabulary in the individual. Results have shown that girls have better language performance than boys. Thanks for watching, enjoy our references.